us in the green, baby. Hello, everybody. It is I, Ali Madawa, with a brand new episode of the ME Show with a whole lot of excitement. And Bruno Mars, who gets me to pop and lock and get the dancing going. So, uh, first and foremost, if you are watching us live right now, give us a thumbs up. Let us know that you are in existence. And not only that, uh, just remember that tonight, along with the topics that we're going to be covering, you have the opportunity to be featured on our show where we actually call you into the show uh, via your messenger. Just audio, no camera, so you don't have to freak out. Uh, but but here's the thing, to actually have that opportunity uh, for me to interview you and tell the world why they should be in business with you and tap into my network, uh, three things you got to do. One is you have to watch, two, you have to share, and three, you have to comment, I have what it takes. Now, you may be watching on our business page, you may be watching on our personal page, or wherever you may be watching, uh, or, or, or eventually on a podcast, YouTube, whatever the case may be. We love you and appreciate you, and feel free to drop your name on the comment box uh, as well, because uh, we want you to know that we absolutely appreciate you 100% uh, percent of the time. So thank you, thank you for the love, thank you for the share. I see you all out there. So let's get right to it. Today on the ME Show, we're going to talk about the law of love and, and gratitude and, you know, uh, uh, appreciation and abundance. Those things uh, that, you know, many of us uh, are very passionate about, the positivity world. There are many people who think that stuff doesn't really work. It's a whole bunch of kumbaya, kumbaya, get back to earth, live life normal. And I'd say normal is boring. So how many of you, uh, you know, would agree on this fact that, you know, the world that we live in more than ever is full of negativity. I mean, it's it's horrific what is happening. Look at all these, you know, terrorist attacks that are happening right now. And if you are anywhere near, very, very sorry. And I pray that you're safe. But, you know, there are other things that, you know, in your friend's circle that are, they're really not as bad, but you'll find somebody who's miserable more than someone who actually that is going through the crazy things in life. And I'm here to tell you, I used to be that guy once upon a time. You know, nine years ago, I used to work in a restaurant called Ruby Tuesday, and I loved that restaurant. Don't get me wrong. I love the people that I've worked with, but yeah, I was very negative. I was a smoker. I, you know, was just just didn't care much about positivity and about life and about you know this this what you're hearing and what you're seeing right now and I was living paycheck to paycheck I did not have an exit strategy and I was miserable even if the money was okay don't get me wrong I just was miserable I hated the fact that I worked 90 hours a week We've obviously discovered the network marketing profession, other businesses that led to a few traditional businesses, many failures, many success stories, and it led us to where we are right now. So to you, you may be looking at one thing and one thing only. This guy is very positive, awesome, good stuff. We're happy for you, Ali, right? Uh, but it's it's a process that got me to choose to be positive you know I'll share with you a, a factual um, a story this this literally just happened maybe 10 minutes before we actually went live on the show uh, one of my mom's friend is is ill um, and you know it's just it's a very unfortunate situation and you know she could be gone in 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 no time it's really 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 sad um, and we love her we you know we appreciate her we hope all works out uh, but she has the most smile in her face that you can even imagine I mean literally you know my mom is teary at times like she was feeling sad she was like she's gonna go back home in about two weeks I'm so sad I'm so sad I'm so sad she's like but you know what she's literally like so what I've had a beautiful life I'm excited I can't wait to go back home and my mother was shocked and then my wife said you need to learn from her that no matter how bad things are she chose to be happy and and that's essentially where it kind of comes down to on this episode you may be going through what we like to call the funk you may be going through some situations that you know you, you think it's just horrible that there is no turnaround but it really is up to you how you lead your life to be how you live your life it's not the circumstance the circumstance happen and will happen to every single one of us I can guarantee you that you're gonna have problems issues curveballs whatever it is that is thrown at you and only through your attitude you will determine your happiness so I'm gonna share with you a few things and remember if you're just jumping on 
Uh, three things if you want me to feature you on tonight's episode you get five seven minutes where you share your story your business and why should people do business with you uh, one is watch two is share and three comment I have what it takes and we'll give you the opportunity um, you know to hop on so so uh, I have in here these these two one is a, a I guess a secret uh, book of gratitude that I use every single day uh, the second one is a daily teaching that I also use every single day and uh, these two books I literally utilize to fix my mindset now I do other things as well I listen to audiobooks I listen to you know uh, uh, positive motivational videos and audio throughout the whole day to get my mind right because I know just like you if I I input the wrong stuff in my body, in my mindset, I will actually produce the wrong stuff as well, you know, uh, and, and, and it's important for me not to because I have a responsibility. With Medawi Enterprise, we've committed to the masses that change starts with me. That change is 100% all about me showcasing to you that no matter how bad it is I can overcome now don't get me wrong I'm human I still get upset sometimes I still get mad I still have moments I got upset yesterday over a video that I watch of you know uh, the the alt-right president uh, president whatever his name is very 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 racist and I got really really worked up about it I shared it and you know some people reacted to it in one way versus the other and it really got me worked up a little bit more that people didn't condemn him but guess what you know I realized instantly come on Ali why are you even you know giving attention to such negativity why don't you actually focus on unity on bringing people together and not even give that guy any props or any views whatsoever so you know I, I had to uh, give back like I said to basics and clean up uh, my head in a major way so let me start with this and, and a cl quick disclaimer for everybody I am not selling these I do not make money from these because many times whenever I'm sharing something people think all right Ali's marketing this product right Ali's a network marketer Ali is selling all the time no I'm not this is just what I use for myself you can find it in Barnes and Noble for yourself I think it's like twelve dollars or something like that and it's a blank book and I actually write my gratitude in it every single day so what I write in it is simply this I am so happy and grateful now that I am happy healthy abundant successful uh, uh, um, uh, all my bills are paid my family's healthy I have the perfect marriage my son will be extremely uh, happy and healthy like all those things that I want to have but I write them as if I already had them that's called an attitude of gratitude now when I do that it's not a kumbaya feel good right just to make myself feel like hmm like no that's not how it works it fixes your attitude because it allows you to have the right process the right thoughts process those thoughts as I taught many many times they're going to give you the right feeling think about this right now imagine money was not an issue whatsoever imagine you had everything you've ever wanted imagine that you had the time the quality of life a private jet the cars everything you've ever wanted the perfect health everything is at your disposal how does that make you feel just imagine that for a second felt good right like oh my god I wish right that's what most of us say so that was a thought that was instantly generated and once you generate a thought it gives you a feeling that's why you're like oh my god I feel so good that's why we watch certain shows certain uh, you know movies and whatnot because we think along that actor and we feel a specific way that's why we cry sometimes or we laugh or we get scared now that feeling itself will lead to the next piece which is action that's what when you go to a convention and there's a motivational speaker who will tell you things such as imagine you could have been in a year from now a six-figure earner imagine in 90 days you can turn your business to such and such and such here's how I did to do them right now they allowed you to think about a moment where it made you feel a certain way and you walk out of that convention doing what feeling activated right like I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna make things happen right so therefore the action follows and after the action follows you get the next piece which is what results so an acronym that I'm pretty sure if you've watched me enough you hear about TFAR T-F-A-R which are the four acronyms for thoughts become feelings feelings produce actions actions will give you results that is 100% how it works 100% of the time this is how people usually ask 
well does the you know uh, uh, secret really work thoughts become really things and some people think just by sitting in the couch and meditating and thinking about something that is going to appear no that's not how it works it produces the right feeling to produce the right action to produce the right results and those results will produce even more thoughts because you put your head on a pillow at night time you're like man today was such a good day i can't wait to do it again tomorrow so that is that process the second book that again i also recommend uh it's the secret daily teaching i am not getting paid from this i am just simply sharing with you so you don't think that i'm selling you this um and it, it has literally 365 daily teachings and every single day it's a little note um you know my wife actually got this and i stole it from her i love her she's the producer she whatever is hers is mine right right baby whatever no she said no it's like uh, whatever is mine is hers and whatever is hers is only hers. But I, I love her for that. So every day it gives me a different uh, teaching, a different message. And it allows me to just have that enough of a drop in my positivity. Now what I do with these, I actually read them out loud on uh, my uh, um, uh, personal uh, 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 positive mindset at uh, 4.30 uh, every single day on Instagram live and also on my personal Facebook live and the reason I do that is because I want to give you a little bit of a positive drop in your day and then we talk about it so these are my like go to no matter what now at the same time obviously like I said I listen to an audiobook first thing I wake up in the morning it's either popped in my ear or if my wife is up with me around 6 30 7 o'clock it's already playing out loud where the whole house you know we're hearing it right and also I want my son to start hearing it although he's still in the womb but anyhow uh, just a reminder uh, watch share the video and then comment I have what it takes and then I will call you by audio and feature you uh, in the show itself so from there I have the right mindset and the right attitude then I go to workout here is why I love working out in the morning. Not only it kicks your butt, but it gives you such an amount of energy to be like, okay, the hard part of the day is over. Now I feel energized. Now I feel ready. I feel prepared. I can go and conquer the world. And my wife and I usually go every single day. That's right. Even if she is on her eighth month of carrying our baby boy, guess what? She still does a boot camp with me every single day. And I'm proud of that woman uh, for doing that. So does positivity really work can positivity have an impact on your life on your marriage on your relationship with your you know significant other on your business on anything for that matter i'd say it does because i'm here to tell you and i've gone through some really messed up situations and i've made great money and i lost a whole lot you know by by whether it was trusting the wrong people or working with the wrong company or what have you and I've reacted a certain way in my early times in, in the, the, the business itself. And then I went ahead and I realized uh, that I was just this angry monster who treated people bad uh, because I was just mad at life. So from there, uh, I went ahead and I decided, you know what? I'm no longer going to let anything actually impact me uh, like, like it did in the past uh, before. So um, real quick, uh, just want to interject something. We have a gentleman by the name of Euron uh, who just commented, I have what it takes and he is watching uh, so I want to give him the opportunity to actually uh, share his story you Ron I believe right now because I know you travel a lot happens to be uh, in California I might I might be right I might be wrong so give me one second you Ron and I'm gonna actually call you on the messenger so uh, don't freak out if you get in a call all you got to do is respond to the call so here we go mr uh Euron is currently available you're not available for calling on the messenger i don't know if you don't have the app or whatnot uh but let us know whenever you are available and we'll definitely call you because i'd love to feature you but you have to be available my friend Anyhow, um so uh you have to have that positive mindset because um, yes, your reps are going to quit on you sometimes. Yes, your customer may not be satisfied 100% of the time. Yes, you may get no's a few times off your business. When you let one person impact your mindset and you turn from the most positive, empowering, motivational speaker to a very angry monster, 
the next person you're talking to, they can sense that. Even if you try to fake it, you know, I mean, you even sense when somebody has, uh, uh, you know, the wrong attitude uh, about their business and whatnot, and, and you may be uh, running away from it. Let me give... Uh, Yep, you're still unavailable, my friend. Uh, so, so I highly recommend to you. And if you're struggling with this, uh, let us know, and uh, we, we'll definitely give you, um, uh, you know, all the little tricks that we have done. Actually, in our website, workwithali.com, we have a podcast with over 30 audios that can work with you on your mindset, and you know, so much more. Uh, let me give it a try again uh, and see. Mr. Galinsky, if we can get you going. Yeah, it still says uh, you're on is currently unavailable for voice calling. Um, let me try something else. If you got that message, you're on, just uh, let me know and I'll try to give you a, a, a buzz again. Now drop a number one if you struggled with positivity before. If you had a hard time um, keeping your head in the right place. Because I'm here to tell you, I don't care what problem you have, i got a solution. I've been at a point of my life where we lost it all. At a point of my life where literally went to homeless. At a point of my life where my parents weren't together and we were thrown from you know one side of the family to the other where you know the father figure was missing and then the mother figure was missing and then we had to figure life uh, on on uh, um, our own um, but um, regardless to the whole process um, you know I thank God this is where I had to change my whole attitude you know <laughs> you know I I was angry throughout my whole life until I was 20 two maybe 23 where I kind of made peace with myself I had to forgive myself and love myself all over again because I'm here to tell you you know think about it like this I've been molested as a child that'll get you angry and I didn't open up about it until I was 26 or 27 um, you know I felt my whole life my parents just didn't love me enough especially my father you know it, it, things happen we have a great relationship right now he's back into my life both my parents are back into my life um you know uh, i i to 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 lose a major part from 11 to about 16 year old you don't have a normal life you don't have that childhood uh life uh it absolutely 100 percent puts you at a very very crazy mindset where you feel like you missed out on life in itself and and guess what i was only 17 when i came to the states 16 turned 17 and i was angry as if life was over for me right uh, and and a whole lot more and even the process that many 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 times we ended up like literally when i say we my wife and i um, you know, working with people and helping people and assisting people and doing so much more uh, to, to give them um, the opportunity to just kind of rise with us. I've literally hooked people up with like, you know, six figure deals, like to set them up for life. And they went back and, and they just did some malicious things that hurt us. And, you know, I many times felt like quitting even on network marketing. I felt like I should get a job. I tucked my resume like twice in my career. Again, after I was successful, saying to myself, maybe I'm not good enough. But thank God for mentors that I have in my life that fixed me up. Thank God for these things right here that kept me on the right track. Because imagine if I gave up on my life. Imagine if I gave up on my family. I promise my wife, my mom, my sister, like I will be the shining example of the family. I will make you the rising stars. You will be so proud of me. You will love me and be happy about everything because everything that I am doing, I'm doing for all of us. And, and that is something something that I wear like a badge of honor. So uh, again, drop a number one if you have struggled, uh, you yourself, uh, with, with uh, staying positive, you know, with overcoming that mindset. And, and, and let me just give you one last, I guess you can call this the, the bonus round. You know, you may be in a relationship with a business, with, with, a, with a spouse that just does not understand what you're doing. Right, they, they may be somewhat negative about the fact that you want to be an entrepreneur and you have all your hopes and ambitions. You know, and, and this is drop a number two if you've had to deal with uh, you know a spouse just not understanding and maybe resisting a little bit to the process. And I'll drop a number two too, right? Because I've gone through that. Now I'm gonna be a little bit in your face and kind of tell you straight up, it is your fault. 
You know, and I'm speaking from experience in here. Remember, I love my wife to death. I live for my wife. She's my reason why. But at one point of our career, uh, my wife wanted nothing, and I mean nothing to do with my business. Uh, she was angry all the time about the fact that I wasn't home, that I was traveling, that I was staying out late, that I would have a meeting after the meeting with the wrong business partners, that I, you know, I travel and I say, I'll be back in three days and I end up staying for a whole week. So I did it to myself because, you know, I had my priorities wrong. You know what I mean? Like I literally had my priorities wrong and I'll own up to it forever. Like our relationship was going like bad and it was because I did not do the right thing and I changed something see when when you started your business you told your spouse I'm gonna do this for us it is gonna work out great and I promise you I'm gonna get you out of your job and we're gonna buy the house and all that is gravy all that is great until you're 90 days in no money is coming in you're telling your spouse I'm gonna take five hundred dollars because there's this convention that you know my upline said we have to go to, and your you know spouse is looking at you like, wait, you're gonna do what? We don't even have money for this bill, and you want to spend money on X, Y, Z? Like, so I did it to myself by not having my priorities straight. What I recommend to you is a involve your spouse at every single decision that you make. Involve them at every single decision you make. Involve them. Tell them, hey, I don't want you to ever refer or recruit or give me no customers or nothing. I just want you to be by my side so I don't make the wrong move. And let them hear the process with you. Eventually, they'll start telling you. Like my wife, literally, like I, you know, the, the fact that she's with me all day long and I'm doing like consultation after consultation, and she'll come to the side like, hey, are you getting paid for all this time that you're giving away, right? That's an accountability partner. She'll kind of give me right back on, ch- no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm just hooking this person up. I'm just doing this, I'm just doing that. You know, okay, well, you know, what's happening with that person? What's happening with that person? Did you send the invoice? Did you make that phone call that you made? Things that she's never done before because I kind of pushed her away. Now, not only she's my accountability partner, she's literally managing me as a brand. You know, she's keeping up with all the administrative work and whatnot. And I've never in a million years would have imagined my wife will be essentially the president of Medawi Enterprise. But all that happened through 100% um, priorities. Um, I even, you know, changed like the, the, the route of my business over the last four weeks where we decided to go in a different company that kind of was in line with us and gave up a position as a master representative in a previous company and people were like well you nuts who does that well we did it because i learned from my mistakes and i realized it's god family and then business and my wife is my family and i have to keep that order exactly the way it's 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 I'm preaching it, right? How can I talk to you about communicating and being honest and doing this and doing that and in my own home, I'm not living by those fundamentals. So so this is why I highly recommend to you, communicate with your spouse. Go to them today and sit down with them and let them know, listen, I, first of all, I want to apologize to you because I've, I've, I've been selfish. I've been telling you that you're against me in my business. I've been telling you that you don't help me and you don't support me. I've been telling you this, I've been telling you that, while all along, I actually didn't even involve you in none of my decisions. I've been taken out of the business account. I've been taking the time away from our relationship. I've been going to all these conventions and taking all these pictures and drinking wine at nighttime with all the friends after the, the, the meetings and the events while you're sitting in here and watching the kids or whatever the case may be. So I want to start by apologizing. You will notice instantly a moment of acknowledgement that changes everything within your relationship, business or no business. You know, anyone who's willing to apologize and ask for that forgiveness moment, it'll make a huge difference. Immediately after that, let them know and pledge to your relationship. I commit to you from right now that I will absolutely and 100% change everything moving forward. I want to make every decision with you. I want to involve you and include you. I don't want you to do my business. I don't want you to refer people to me. I just want you to be proud of me and watch that powerful moment. Now, you got to be genuine about this. You can't just go and write down all this stuff and study it and fake it. That is horrible. Do not fake it. What I am telling you is you've got to 100% be genuine, caring, loving, and tell 
the 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 truth be honest with yourself and let them know and watch immediately they will change their attitude and and you gotta back it up you gotta back it up you let them know hey just so you know i usually go to a friday night leadership this friday i'm not gonna go and talk to your sponsor hey listen i'm not coming out this weekend i just want to give it to my wife or to my husband you know i'm trying to unplug for for three days and they will appreciate those little moments that they will start pushing you hey come on go get him go get him rock it out make us all proud right now also you have to be better and get better and be more skilled at your business so you actually show some type of progress if you're not showing progress you know again it's all talk the hardest prospect you'll ever have in your business is that person in your life because they know everything about your past they know the truth about your current situation and circumstance and bank account and health and everything else and they're watching you every single day so they're they're waiting for that instant breakthrough to happen if you're not selling them out on your vision on your culture on your message how do you expect to get everybody else you may be good enough to per persuade other people but sooner or later they're gonna drop off again sooner or later they're gonna go to somewhere else so you have to work on your skill this is why you have to work on your mindset. This is why you have to showcase the growth in you as an entrepreneur, the growth in you as an individual, as a motivational speaker, as a coach, as a network marketer, professional salesperson, whatever business line that you are in, you yourself have to 100% make sure that you are showcasing that positivity. You gotta be the rock of the family, you know? Uh, again, the, the fact that I heard my wife, and, and I love you to death, this is like true right now. Uh, you know, as true as true it gets, right? Because she's the producer of everything that you're seeing. She's on the other side of the devices. Um, don't walk away. I'm about to get some brownie points. I'm about to say how cool you are. Brownie points. Give us some hearts, brownie points. <laughs> One minute. Got you. Um, you know, the fact that I heard my wife earlier while I'm talking to my mother on FaceTime about her friend that unfortunately, you know, God only knows how long she has because of her circumstance. And, you know, she said, you've got to learn from that and understand that it's better to be positive and happy than be miserable about the smallest things ever. And that is something that I've been preaching for nine years. And just my wife just and I weren't in the same frequency because I turned her off about business and everything that I do because I was a bully. Because I told her, you don't support me. You don't this, you don't this, you don't this, you don't that. And, and even up to recently, sometimes I have moments when I get mad and I'm like, can you be positive? Right? But it just is a validation that, you know, when you put the right order in your life, when you put that person in your life, the true reason why, and you communicate and you pledge to your relationship and you keep them together, you watch how positive they get on you right away. So unfortunately, we could not have uh, you on. Uh, uh, on. Unfortunately, uh, it still says unreachable. Uh, so uh, I will definitely, um, definitely uh, make sure that we have you on, God willing, next week if you give us the opportunity uh, so we can share and showcase to the masses who you are. And I know, and I've heard many, many great stories about you as an entrepreneur, about you uh, with uh, your, your flights and so many other things that you have uh, uh, done in your life and uh, we want everybody to hear that story so uh, I'm gonna leave you with this fix your mindset fix your attitude fix your relationships and you'll see how everything just becomes smooth for you because you become more attractive I cannot tell you how many messages I get every single day and I'm so grateful for them from people to say you know I just send a message to somebody who like my video or something and their, their initial initial response for the very first time that I ever communicate with them is man that is so awesome how positive you are I love your videos and that is the the true validation that you know that that's like my my report card okay I'm, I'm doing the right thing in my life i'm heading towards the right direction so be positive love one another stop focusing on the negativity at the end of the day and under our skins we're human beings we are one nation under god we have been you know it started with one and it, it you know it ended up being all of us right now that we look different we speak different but we are one nation so love people and i'm talking about a world nation love people care about people and spread that positivity and i hope that you give us some hearts 
I hope that you share this message with the masses because it's something that's near and dear to my heart and it can help so many relationships. It can help so many entrepreneurs and a whole lot more. So I cannot thank you enough for joining us yet again on uh, our uh, brand new episode at the ME Show. And I look forward uh, to do it again next week. I might even, actually not might, Tomorrow night, I'm doing an exclusive special ME episode at 7 o'clock with a, a gentleman uh, by the name of uh, 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 Clee uh, Tillman, which I can't wait for you guys to hear and gals to hear his story. So that's going to be tomorrow night, but you know, I'll be promoting that as well. So I can't thank you enough for the opportunity to spend some time with me, and I will see you manana yet again. And with that, peace out, everybody. 